The Pan American Health Organization and the University of the West Indies Climate Change and Health Leaders Fellowship Training Program have teamed up in an effort to educate individuals on the effects of climate change on health. The collaboration is being unveiled in St. Lucia through an affiliate group called CHARGE, Climate and Health Action for Rising Generations. CHARGE President Kezia St. Bryce Isidore says the group was recently formed by local environmental enthusiasts. So basically the group is newly formed and it's a great a bunch of environmentalist activists that are interested in you know keeping our environment clean and also concerned about the environment because as we know the environment is where we live and if we do not protect it then we all will suffer. On Wednesday 17th January, Charge took to the community to begin their National Primary School Climate Change and Health Awareness Campaign. St. Bryce says the inaugural event is geared at educating the younger generation about climate change and its dangers. So the initiative is a two-day initiative, which is one day in the north, which is at the Marigo Secondary School, and one day in the south at the Beacon Multipurpose Center. That way we can get all students involved from all aspects of the island, so both from the north and from the south. The target audience for the event was grade 5 students who are considered to have the right attitude to help initiate change. Nicole Atenez is a grade 5 teacher at the Fawcett Jack Primary School who hails the initiative as a positive one in the fight for a healthier climate. I think grade 5 is a, is a great level to start at because they're in the transition stage where they're heading to grade 6, preparing to head to secondary school. So they're at that point where they can advocate with their peers to make that change, to make steps to probably stop the littering, um, stop the deforestation. And then with that knowledge, they're, they're getting here today. As they transition to the secondary school, they can keep it up and, you know, do even better things, bigger things as they grow older. The Bureau of Health Education of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs also praised the initiative. Being that this program is so significant, we will take what we can from this program um, um, today and utilize the information at the Bureau of Health. Um, we're educators, we're out in the community so that we can further um, reinforce the message within the schools and within the community and within um, the NGOs and possibly the churches as well. Student participants coming out of the activity were already offering advice geared at helping build a greener nation. Eat healthier, don't eat too much junk, work out a little, and have, and have a good life. I think that it's really nice and I learned that climate change is really important. Volunteer Shem Hippolyte says the group will be looking into hosting more activities. A few of the plans are, apart from the schools, we want to go around in St. Lucia, probably in, into communities and just have campaigns there where we do the same thing with educating them about health and awareness of health and physicality. The campaign is entitled Promoting Climate Change and Health Awareness in Primary Schools in St. Lucia. Act now for a more sustainable and resilient future. Chad says the future events will target all ranges as they look forward to hosting annual events. For the Communication Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Sant Justin.